Hey guys, what I'd like to do today is show you this monitor calibration tool or colorometer from Datercolor. And Datercolor is a huge company that's been offering devices like this for years, but this particular model is the Spider X Pro. And if you've ever looked at a review of a monitor or you've looked at a review of a laptop, when they're talking about the panel and they're talking about colors and they're talking about the quality of the screen, chances are they've analyzed it using something like this. Now, I do think that over the last few years, there has been some improvements from monitor companies as far as offering you different profiles, standard gaming, movies, etc. But it's no replacement for something like this, especially if you're a photographer, if you're doing video editing, if you're you know, working with movies, working with images, or even if you're just a gamer that wants to have the monitor set up in the best way, this is where you would use a device like this to analyze your panel, check the colors, and then set up different color profiles so that you can set up your monitor the way that you want. Because unfortunately, even today, most monitors aren't calibrated correctly out of the box. So like I said, this is the Spider X Pro. It came out I think around 2020, but the company kindly sent this out to me almost a year ago at the start of 2021. So I do apologize to the company. It's been a long time since I've had this and I've not did a review yet. But on the plus side, it has given me more time to use this. And I used this probably about six or seven times in 2021 to calibrate this Samsung monitor here. And the calibration process is so, so simple. You install the software, very easy to do. And then you will look this over. I'll show you this more closely in a second, but you look this over and you put this on your monitor or your laptop screen and the sensor will analyze the panel and it can calibrate your monitor, your screen in two minutes. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but if you go back just a few years, monitor calibration tools took 10, 15 or 20 minutes to calibrate your monitor. You effectively had to you know, put this on your screen and leave, go and get a cup of tea, go and get a coffee, and then come back and then check your monitor. That's not the case now. In two minutes, this can calibrate your monitor and then allow you to set up different profiles. So what I'd like to do for you all today is show you what this can do. I'll quickly show you the device and then we'll talk about calibration, how you use this to calibrate your monitor. And then I'll show you the software and just show you what you can actually do using the software as far as setting up color profiles, etc. Let's take a closer look at the Spider X Pro Advanced Monitor Calibration. Yes. So I've unplugged the USB cable for now just to show you what's going on here. It's about 1.5 meters long and it's not as thick as I would have liked, so look after it. And the other thing is that the cable is connected to the calibrator itself, it's connected to the Spider X Pro. So it's not like you can just unplug this and replace the cable easily. That being said, it does look like you can pry this open. So in a worst case scenario, my guess is that you can contact Data Color and get a replacement for the cable if necessary. The device itself is very simple. It's quite light. It's quite plasticky. And yeah, there's not a lot to say about it. Effectively, what you do is you open this up like that, and then you put this at the back of your laptop or of your monitor. And then the sensor here is what's actually going to analyze the panel. And you need to get this on, you know, in the right position. It wants it in the center of the monitor. So obviously I don't have a monitor that's tiny. So what you have to do is just feed this through and then this will act as a counterweight. And then you have to get it to the, the right position so that this sits in the middle of your monitor, exactly where it tells you to put it. And then you put it on the screen and it will start calibrating your monitor. So I'm on the official Data Color website now, and the company does sell many different products for photographers, for videographers. You've got color checkers and matchers and different things. But the two main calibration tools are the Spider X Pro and the Spider X Elite, which is a little bit more expensive, but it does allow multiple monitors to be calibrated. Now the prices that are quoted here are the official recommended retail prices, but you can pick these up cheaper. On Amazon.uk, for example, this currently retails at £99, and it's the same in America, where it normally sells at $150, but there are sales from time to time. Of course there are. 
And um, please do check out the official website for more information, you know, about what this can do, what it can help you analyze, etc. You can see the software there. But what I'd like to do right now is just talk about setting up your device. When you pick up the SpiderX, it advises you to warm up your monitor for 30 minutes. And that's true whenever you go to recalibrate your monitor again. It wants the monitor, your laptop screen, whatever you're analyzing, it wants that panel to be on for 30 minutes. Then once you've downloaded the software from this page for Windows or for Mac, you will remove the lens cap, you'll put it over your monitor, and then you will allow it to calibrate. And that's what I'm going to do just now. But one thing I will say is that this page kind of summarizes exactly what you need to do, but there is a manual. I'll leave a link to this so that you've got it. It walks you through the whole process and it answers all the questions you've got about the device and about using the software. So this is the software for the Spider-X Pro. And I've always found this incredibly easy to use. I don't think you'll have any problems with it because there's lots of explanations as to what you need to do. So at the left hand side here, you can see the different calibration steps. We've got the main task at hand here, and then you can go back next a step down at the bottom. And at the right hand side, you've got interactive help, and that will help you understand what's going on. So whenever you hover over something, you'll get a more detailed explanation at the right hand side there. And you can click to learn more as well. Down at the bottom left here, we've got shortcuts to different sections and different tasks and different menu items. So that's quite useful as well. So right now it's telling me to put the spider on the display and I have to put it exactly where it is on the monitor. And that's something I'm going to do. But like I said, this is something that I have done many times before. So it's kind of jumping ahead for me and jumping right ahead to the calibration process. So what I want to do is load the software from scratch and show you exactly what it looks like when you're setting this up for the first time. You can see the app is loaded back up here and this is the first step of the wizard. So in the setup wizard here you can see you can see that it says have you allowed the display to warm up for half an hour? Are the lighting conditions correct? Mine's aren't but I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, it wants you to set a color temperature uh, for your monitor to 6500 Kelvin or equivalent as well. And make sure the spider is actually plugged in to your computer's USB port, not a, a hub or a keyboard or anything like that. Okay, in the next page here, it's going to ask you to select your backlight. You can select wide LED, standard LED, general GB LED. General, it says here, is for monitors pre-2009, older displays, etc. Wide LED is for professional displays, P3 displays, you can see iMac retinas. I've chosen standard LED, but this is maybe something where you want to check the data color website to make sure that you've selected the right option here. And then we've got recalibrate your display, check the accuracy of your current calibration and full cal. So I'm going to opt for full calibration here just because I want to show you the whole process from scratch. And then it's measuring room light. So this is something I didn't show you earlier, but if I show you the overhead camera again, there's a sensor here. There's a sensor here, and this is used to monitor or check, analyze the light in your room. Now, if I go to the next page, you will see that the light in this room right now is very high, and that's not what you want. But of course, this is because I've set up my lights right now for recording, so they're pretty bright. But if I go back, and then go forward. You can see that just by dimming the lights a little, they went from very high to high. So just by changing it there, you can see that the room light was instantly recognized as being different. So put the lights back up and it's now at very high. This is not recommended. So I'm probably not gonna get the, the results that I want because of that, but we'll push ahead. Just if you're doing it, make sure the lights are the right level and make sure the sensor here is reporting the light is at the correct level. Don't do what I'm doing here. I'm just doing this because I'm recording. Okay, so now we're at the calibration step. So what I'm gonna do is set this up to go over. So if I skip to this webcam here, I'll show you very crudely here. I want to set this up, get it to the right level. And what I want to do is get it so this hangs in place. And I want to get the weight at the right level. So that seems to be where I'm sitting. That looks perfect where I am. 
It's right on the monitor. And, and just to point out, I can't actually move this here. This goes back to the middle. And the reason is it wants to analyze the center of the screen, whatever it may be, you know, whether it be a laptop screen or a monitor, it wants this app to load in the middle. So if I jump back here, you'll see more closely what's going on. I'll select next and you can see it's flashing here. And this is what happens during the calibration process. It will take a minute or two and it's going to go through and it's going to measure the brightness and measure all the colors, etc. So the measuring step has been completed. And if I jump to this webcam, you can see that it's now saying measuring completed. Please remove your spider and click finish. So the measuring stage there takes about 60 seconds or so. It's incredibly quick. And once you've finished there and you've taken your Spider X Pro off, it will ask you to name and save your profile. And it also asks you to set a reminder. And this is so that you can go back and recalibrate the monitor in a month, two months, or three months, or whatever. I'll set three months this time. I'm going to click Next. Congratulations, your new profile has been created and your system will automatically use this new, new profile. Click Next. And then you can review your new display profile. So the SpiderX software allows you to test different display profiles or color profiles. And this helps you see which profile is best for which task. And there's a switch button here that lets you switch between calibrated and uncalibrated views. Now you guys won't see anything when I'm changing there, but if I switch to my webcam briefly, you can see that when I start switching between different color profiles and switching between uncalibrated and calibrated, I'll start seeing a major difference on the screen here. And the difference can be staggering. In certain profiles, it doesn't look great for what I do. You know, maybe the colors are washed or maybe they're a little bit faded looking. You know, you can see there's like black and white profiles that photographers might like. But in other profile options, the colors just pop out the screen. They're more vibrant and it's better than anything I'd be able to set up directly through my Samsung monitor itself. So it's really useful, especially for me. I'm not a photographer. I don't work with images so much, but I do produce videos for YouTube. And there's certain times when my videos, I'm looking at it and I'm like, those colors don't look right. And I'm thinking, is my lighting wrong? And that's where something like this is, is fantastic because it allows you to see your videos and your images exactly how they should be seen. Now, if I go to the, the next screen here, you can see the profile overview. So it's same for my monitor here. For SR, uh, sRGB, I've got 100% uh, of the color gamut. I've got 77% of NTSC. I've got 81% of Adobe RGB. And I've got 86% of P3. Now, don't worry if that doesn't mean a lot to you. But if you're a photographer, for example, you will buy a more expensive monitor, maybe one that costs thousands, which will have 100% of Adobe RGB. I've got 100% sRGB, which is for the most part good for what I do, but there are better displays out there. But it's quite good that you can view this and you've got a better understanding as to what your monitor, what your panel can actually do. Once you've calibrated your monitor, there's a few other options and settings that you can go back and explore from the main menu of the SpiderX Pro software, which in Windows, I can access from the icon down in the Windows taskbar. So this is the profile management box. And as the name suggests, it allows me to set up and load different profiles. And I've got three different profiles just now, but cards on the table, this is just me messing around with the software, testing different color profiles and you know just playing around with it. I've not really optimized it yet for my monitor in so much as creating different profiles for different tasks. But if I wanted to, I could create a profile for general internet usage, one for editing videos for YouTube, one for watching movies, one for playing driving games, and perhaps another for playing shooting games, first person shooters. It's quite flexible how it works and you know you can set up a profile for every situation. So if I load up the software again, I want to show you two items from the shortcut menu, which I've not really spoke about yet. So I've got the shortcut menu down here on the left hand side and I've spoke about calibration. I have spoke about the color profiles, which is what they call spider proof. But also from the shortcut menu, there's display type and display analysis. Now, annoyingly, I don't know why it does this. This is the one thing about the software I don't like. When you select one of these options, the shortcut menu disappears. So you can't 
quickly jump back. You need to kind of close it down and load it back up. I don't know why it does this. So this is a display type and I've got my Samsung monitor. I can select whether it's a desktop or a laptop. I can select the model. There's many different models to choose from. And then I've got some brightness and Kelvin presets. And then when you go back here, you're back onto the backlight options. So this just gives you a little bit more control over you know, how you're setting up um, how you're setting up your profile, what you're telling the software exactly, what your monitor is, etc. It just gives you a little bit more control over how it's calibrated. So if I jump to display analysis, you will see some additional tests. So there's a begin test button here, there's a view report, and you can select all of these if you wish. And there's a test here for the color gamut, for tone response, for brightness and contrast, and for white point at different OSD settings. So there's a number of different reports here. And again, this all gives you a better picture of what your monitor can do, gives you a better idea as to what's going on, just gives you a better analysis of your panel. So that's really useful. And that, that's something I, I will use in the future whenever I buy a new monitor, whenever I buy a new laptop or something, I'll probably run a test like this just to get a better idea as to what's going on. So there you have it, guys. This has been the Datacolor Spider-X Pro Advanced Monitor Calibration Tool for desktop monitors and for laptop screens. And I will say, I have applied the Samsung profile to my LG television here, which I use as an extra monitor, and it works fantastic with that as well. My LG television used to look terrible when I used it as a monitor, and it now looks amazing. So this will work with any type of screen. A television, a monitor, a laptop, it doesn't matter. And I've been using this for close to a year now and I'm thoroughly impressed with it. And it's not just because it's easy to use. You know, it's install the software, you put this over the screen. It's also because of how effective it is. And I've been reminded by that today when I applied the profile to this LG television. And over the last year, I have used it several times to calibrate this Samsung monitor. And this Samsung Ultrawide has done, you know, it's been great for me over the last several years. I was never 100% happy with the colors when I was editing videos. And I tried many different profile options, many different color options that are available through the monitor, but it's never looked as good as it does now after setting up color profiles using the Spider-X Pro. So it's quite telling that, you know, after using this for years and messing about with different settings, just by using this once and scanning and analyzing the panel, I was able to make this display look better and make it more productive for me. Obviously, this is not for everyone. Most general users, most general internet users, they don't need something like this. So if you're just, you know, someone that works on the internet or you work for your company, you just browse the internet, you don't need this. You'll be happy with what's being shown on your laptop or playing around with different options with monitor profiles, color profiles, etc. You don't need something like this. But if you're a photographer, a videographer, anyone who works with videos, anyone who works with colors, you know, anyone that needs colors to look correct, perhaps even a gamer, this is fantastic. It really is an amazing little device. And yeah, you may have to spend 100, 150 bucks to get it. But once you've got it, you can use this for many years. And it's a great tool. And it's something that in hindsight, I wish I'd bought a couple of years ago. Not only from a, a review point of view that, you know, it would have helped me analyze monitors and laptop screens, but just from a video editing point of view. For years, I've been struggling, struggling to get the colors look correct on this screen, and it was instantly solved by this. So I'll be using this for many years, and you will see this on this channel in the future as well, because I'll be using this to analyze laptop screens and any new monitors that I pick up. So, yeah, overall, very, very impressed. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you now have a better understanding as to what the Spider-X Pro is about and what it can do. If you get any further questions, please do ask a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them or point you in the right direction. But until next time, take care.